Hello and welcome to the final Stockwatch video of the trading week and we're hearing that British Petroleum has started closing a few of its stations across the UK and this is due to lorry driver shortages. So basically heavy good vehicle drivers that used to originally uh, deliver petroleum to different stations in the UK have either had to move away from the UK due to Brexit or they've just not been in good supply because a lot because of the furlough scheme in England. So um, the Prime Minister has said that there's no shortages of fuel in the UK and people should go buy their you know, fuel normally. However, it has not stopped uh, a panic buy of fuel as it becomes a little bit scarce. It's not the fact that um, there are you know a lack of diesel and petrol refineries in the uk it's just getting the deliveries to the four courts or to the stations is has been a problem in some areas and according to road haulage association the uk is short around a hundred thousand truck drivers and as i said twenty thousand of whom were eu nationals that left the country after brexit and possibly the other ones are just you know on the furlough scheme getting the government checks until they end so we'll see if anything comes into light as it could be another big panic buy for uh, the UK and then it will go into serious meltdown like we've seen in past experiences and also just want to touch on Royal Dutch Shell or Shell as a lot of people know it um, they have sealed a deal to sell the entirety of their Texas Basin for 9.5 billion dollars and this is in cash uh, the deal would mark Shell's complete withdrawal from onshore production in Texas but will still keep offshore production there so you have to wonder if this is a sign of the things to come because you know um, the oil the, yeah the oil industry in general faces um, you know pressure to invest in renewable energies as well so could this hit Chevron and ExxonMobil you know some big American companies that could be forced to move their onshore businesses somewhere else or completely dissolve it so we'll keep an eye on the oil uh, uh, companies for sure as we run it into 2022 so BP at the moment we've had this actual surge in stock price because of the panic buying that's been going on recently uh, just zoom in for a bit of uh, understanding I'm just obviously looking uh, with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud now so we've spiked above the cloud it was pretty thin to be honest it didn't really take too much to uh, go above it but the trend is above the cloud now which means that we could be looking at possible other peaks that we saw roughly up, well, well above the 330 area that's for sure uh, so I'm looking at BP being a bid at the moment until we get some more clarification on just how or why uh, we're getting um, how long it's going to go on for sorry for the uh, duration of these scarcities uh, for the lack of supply in BP stations because obviously you know the UK does have a high population and it does have traveling all the time so um, we're just going to see what the opportunities are at the moment you know we're seeing not too much in the way of divergences you could say a small bearish divergence is coming into play here uh, so <clears throat> prices could start waning however there is an expectation of another leg to the upside because you know panic buying also leads to you know uh, people buying lots and lots of petrol so that means stock prices could start moving up higher so we'll see if that comes into fruition as well very interesting to keep an eye out though when you, we get these headlines in the news because you know the price of oil and other consumer products could start surging quite significantly and Royal Shell as well we had this obviously this um, move to the upside when the acquisition was announced or the sell-off let's say uh, of their um, basin in Texas they'll get some money obviously 9.5 billion dollars is just a, probably a small uh, drop in the ocean for such a big oil company however we'll see what the consequences are for that and what the opportunities are most importantly you know I'm looking at these uh, recent peaks here we had quite a big force break to the upside but as you can see here there was general organic growth to the upside then we had a sell-off and now we're kind of moving in this sideways pattern but if we can break you know this sideways ducked uh, prices could then test again over the 1500 area that's for sure so we'll see if that comes into fruition not too much uh, on the way of divergences on the RSI let's bring it down to an intraday level though and again you know not looking too much in the way of breaking out we're just concentrating on this slight move to the upside here uh, to see if there's going to be another leg higher but both companies BP and uh, Royal Dutch 
shell do look bid at the moment so just be something to keep an eye out for and uh, good opportunities as well in the oil industry and also keep an eye out for the big american players as well when it comes to um, oil news in general <clears throat> obviously uh, wti is trading over or trading around 70 dollars at the moment so that's quite significant and we'll see if that can break up to the 75 dollar range because it's been a bit resistant there so just a few things to look out for in general and that's all from the stock watch today so We'll speak again next week. Hope you have a great trading day ahead and a great weekend ahead and bye for now.